this video, we'll be talking about what is the easiest way to save money. Not only the easiest way, but also the most practical way. Now, this is the only thing that you need. You need discipline, discipline, and more discipline. And I guarantee if you have discipline, you'll be able to save money. Now, let me talk, you, talk to you about what I use to save money, which is the latte factor. This was actually coined and trademarked by David Back. And what is latte factor? So it is those small day-to-day -day purchase or even weekly habits then when we eliminate them can actually provide you with a significant and somewhat sum of money. This include cigarette, alcohol, you know, those few drinks we have every Friday or Saturday, or your monthly subscriptions. Well, you know, the latte factor is actually different per person. Now, let me tell you about my story of the latte factor. Now, I always give my son 100 baht for dinner, which is equivalent to, of course, 500 baht per week. Now, what changed? Every Sunday now, I go to Macro and I buy chicken or pork or beef and then slice it up. And I also buy, bought a zipper bag. Now, I put those sliced meat in the zipper bag and one zipper bag is equal to one serving. So what happens is that when my son is hungry, he just needs to get one bag and then throw it and then put it in the air fryer. Now, don't forget to throw it first. Let's do the math. I did an estimate and when I divided the chicken and put it in the zipper bags, it actually cost 12 baht per serving, which is one zipper bag. And I tell you, our one serving is actually enough for one person. Now, for argument's sake, Let's say that one zipper bag is equivalent to 20 Thai bag. If we compare me giving my son 100 per day, which is 500 baht per week, then doing that extra effort in going to macro weekly and put those meat in zipper bag, with, which costs 20 Thai baht per serving, and it's actually equivalent to one Thai baht per week, Let's see how much we will be saving. So actually I'm saving 400 Thai baht per week, 1,600 Thai baht per month, or in a year, it'll be 19,200 Thai baht per year. Supposing you put that 19,200 baht annually in an investment fund that has an in annual interest rate of 5% for a period of five years. What would happen? This is what would happen. With the power of compound interest, we put that 19,200 for the next five years with an interest of 5% per year, we will be having an estimated future value of 130,596.73 baht in your bank account. By the way, this is an estimated future value. Next question is, which investment should I put it in? Please check out my video on stocks or savings account so that you can decide for yourself which one is best for you. Well, that's just about it for this video. For more videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe below. Thank you and God bless.